Hey guys, welcome to another server minor plugin tutorial. I'm your host LGGM007 and today we're looking at the Golden Crates plugin. So this is a fantastic plugin which allows you to create your own custom crates such as the ones I've got in my inventory here with cool animations, different prizes and different chances to get each prize. So in the mystery crate, which is one of the default ones, we can see there's a cool animation. Each item has a different reward chance and we are going to see what we get when it slows down. And we got a melon and there's a nice firework. It says in chat, we've got the reward, new reward zero. So you can rename that if you want. Then we have the test crate, which I created myself. Um, so I used the mystery template, which uh, is the same as the one before. And as you can see, I have renamed some of them to diamond or golden apple. So this one, we seem to get diamonds and we got eight of them, as you can see here. And let's look at the CSGO crate before we create one of our own. So this just, through all of them you can see the different chances all the different items and it will slow down and land on whichever one it picks so that's the sort of thing you can do with this plugin it's really awesome and this time we got a pumpkin so now that we've showcased that let's go ahead and do four slash crates to show the commands then we can do four slash crates give followed by a player's name and then the type of crate so a CSGO crate a test crate whichever one you created and then we can go ahead and do crates give key followed by my username and then whichever crate key we want so virtual there's only one and if we do four slash crates menu that's going to open a particular menu so menu default and this is where you can have different crates so these aren't physical crates they're in this menu and if you have a crate key we have 11 we can click it and then it will play a really cool animation and then it will choose an item at random as usual so you can see all of these have loads of different chances so 10% 12% 30% 20% and we got 30 XP levels from that so let's go ahead and create one of our own now so if we do for slash crates editor this goes into the crates editor instead of the config file you can edit them in GUI so you can click whichever one you want to edit um, and you can change lots about it but if we click create we can make one of our own so let's go ahead and call it server miner and if we find it up here we can right click to go into it and then there's a lot of things we can change so the crate type so we do we want it to be a block crate an item crate or a menu crate um, so you can just toggle that uh, by left clicking so let's go ahead and set it as maybe a menu crate uh, you can always change it later which is cool then you have the crate icon which you can change the crate menu ID and the create menu slots so feel free to change all of this we can then change the template so the CSGO template where all the items fly past we can change the name if we wanted to and the effect manager so when people get reward are they going to have a firework a cool flame effect you can choose whatever they want and the effect model as well and you can also have it play a sound which is pretty awesome so let's go back and go to the reward manager this is the main one so the reward amount you can choose the min and max amount so left click right click or shift left and right click to minus one pretty straightforward then if we create reward it will be an apple at 25 percent by default so what we can do is click the apple and then we can change the reward name so call it anything you want then we can change the reward preview and the actual item so if you want to change the item to a beacon for example you're going to need two of them one for the display item and one for the item that the player gets. So make sure you have two of every item if you want to do this. So go back into the editor, it's fine to close it at any point. Go back into the rewards manager, go into the beacon reward and the current reward is an apple. So go ahead and drop the beacon on it, it will disappear and then it will be set. We can also change the percentage here. So just type whatever percent you want in chat, so 50%. And then we could go on to the next one. So we could change the item rewards to an axe, but it's not going to show anything apart from an apple unless you change the display item like so. So that is um, how you, you would create a new reward. It's very straightforward. You can also attach it to an NPC, have a cooldown, and you want it to require a key, a virtual key. Yes or no, you can left click and right click to get rid of that. And we could change it back to an item crate if we wanted to. So there's lots to do in here. Um, you can also delete it and down at the bottom there is the opening cost. So type in chat how much you want it to cost. Bing bang bong, we are done. So that's how you'd create it. You can change it at any time. But if you do four slash crates give followed by your username and then server miner, 
uh, make sure you actually type it in chat that's going to give you our new crate and if we right click we'll open it it's got the CSGO theme so it's whizzing across and we can see all the different items the different names the different pictures that we chose so the chest and the beacon it's going to slow down and we've got a 50% chance to get a beacon and what do you know we got it so that is how you would do it very very easy you can do four slash crates and then info to see more information about the developer and the version so make sure you're using the latest and then if you want to reload the config file you can do crates reload but that is the plugin uh, it's really fantastic and if we have a look at the spigot page you can see uh, there's a lot of cool information on here you can see it was updated recently but if you need a server to host it on check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around that's it for me subscribe like comment and i'll see you next time